Taming and selling horses have always been towards the center of discussion for Red Dead Online, and for more than two years now, the community has been requesting Rockstar add features to Red Dead Online that allow us players to go out into the vast open world, wrangle some horses, tame them, and also have the opportunity to sell them for some quick cash at the stables. We were even promised this right at launch during one of the cutscenes of the Red Dead Online prologue back in November 2018, so whatever happened, today we will be taking a look at the horse wrangling, horse taming, and horse selling update that of course has not happened yet and why that's the case. Something so innocent yet so forgotten at least by the creative directors at Rockstar Games who have not delivered on this promise yet. So if you enjoyed this video at any point, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date and in the loop with everything Red Dead Online and Red Dead Redemption 2, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. Just like many of you, I for one would love this feature, and I asked you all in a very straightforward poll, should we be able to tame and sell horses in Red Dead Online? And well, in only two hours of the poll being live, it garnered over 8.2 thousand votes, and a whopping 96% of the voters said yes, we do want to be able to tame and sell horses in Red Dead. With about 330 players of the over 8,000 that voted saying no, I think it's a safe bet to say that this should be implemented into the game, as there is some extreme player interest in features like this for the game. Maybe in part due to the fact that this was kind of promoted right off the bat as an activity for players and something that we could do to spend time on the game to make money because this was mentioned explicitly in one of the prologue cutscenes from the mission Honor Among Thieves where you're tasked by Horley to go visit Clay Davies, a horse thief, to learn the ins and outs of the horse rustling trade. Take a look. Well, 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 Horley was right about you, dead right, ain't that dandy? Get that horse hidden away, Clive, and ready to move out as soon as we can. All right. Here's the money you earned. Now listen, Horley came by and gave me a message. He said to go see your friend Cripps up at your camp. Now listen to me for a second. Any other decent horses you find, we'll buy them. Just as soon as we are set up, okay? Nice meeting you. You know what? Hold on, boy. I call him boy because I'm older. 30 minutes. He went black. <laughs> Let's give our friend here back the horse. It's yours. A sign of faith and future business. If you want to buy any extras or sundries for the animal, head inside. They've got a lot available. See you soon. <laughs> Come on, Clive. The community obviously isn't asking for this out of the blue. We were sort of led on to think that as we leveled up our characters in Red Dead Online and continuously obtained a higher rank for them, that we could go to the stables with a horse and maybe adjust different stats on it, which I think would be awesome. But more importantly, I think we were all led on to be able to think that we were able to sell these horses for some cash. Just like you can do in GTA Online if you steal a sports car off the street and deliver it to Los Santos Customs, or you can even sell your own car to recoup some of the cash that you spent if you no longer want that vehicle anymore. But why don't we have this feature in Red Dead Online? The most obvious theory is that Rockstar just has not added content to the game yet that would make sense with horse selling and horse taming. The naturalist update would have been this opportunity, and with the potential trader expansion, players think that's another way that one could work this into the game and implement these features. After all, once Rockstar got rolling with the idea of roles in Red Dead Online, some of the biggest and best content was locked behind the purchase of the role itself to encourage some players who don't have the funds to skip actually playing the game and buy the premium currency which is gold bars. Now remember the Land of Opportunities missions with Madame Leclerc and Horley? Well, that received an expansion with the spring update of May 2019, which officially brought Red Dead Online out of beta, added some new stranger missions, poker, the Nakadocha saddle, and of course the extra online story missions. The finale left us off with a cliffhanger, so what happens to our characters and the people that freed us from jail now that we've killed Teddy Brown and Amos Lansing? That part of the online story has not been added to since May of 2019, but the other side of things with Tom Davies, Old Man Jones, and those folks actually did with the Bounty Hunter expansion update. We successfully killed the two brothers and one of the leaders of the Delobo gang, Jorge Montez and Alfredo Montez in those online story missions, and in two legendary bounties since, we captured Barbarella Alcazar and Carmela Montez, also who are two members of the Delobo gang. Now these could very well have been repurposed from the Land of Opportunity storyline since it is speculated to have been cancelled once Rockstar realized the role updates of the game would encourage monetization more. So that's one theory, they're gonna try and repurpose 
repurpose this somehow down the line and lock it behind raw content to encourage monetization. The other idea that I personally have is a response to exploits in GTA Online. We know Red Dead is built very similar to GTA Online. The same cheats and cheat prevention in RDO is basically a copy and paste of GTA Online, and that's why cheat programs, which albeit and credit to them, Take-Two is finally taking action against, by the way, they all have the exact same features for both games, and you basically have endless and unlimited power with these menus. So much so to where you can find players' IPs, see where they live, crash their game, block the reports against you, or even spoof their name to make it seem like they are the ones cheating and griefing. Now the same goes for car duplication glitches and exploits I would assume as well. Players in GTA Online could take the cars off the street and duplicate them in their garage or duplicate their own custom cars through various methods. Since we ourselves cannot even make a little bit of the money back we spent on our horses and read that online, we only have the option to discard them, literally turning them into glue by deleting them. I think this could be Rockstar's way of preventing lots of money glitches from taking place in this online mode, and if they won't allow us to even sell our own horses we purchased, surely taming a wild horse and selling that wouldn't, wouldn't be allowed either, right? There's some other approach Rockstar would likely take, and I think that that's what they're waiting for. They're waiting for the right opportunity to do so and implement this. You know, maybe some future update will call for horse wrangling, taming, and selling, and maybe even breeding if they wanted to take this concept to the max and allow us to swap certain stats like acceleration, speed, stamina, health, handling, whatever it is, out with other horses to truly make our own overpowered horse with the introduction of maybe a new role or a role expansion ability. Who knows? I think it would just be a shame to completely pass up on this idea if they were worried about horse duplication exploits being used for money glitches down the line. You can sell collectible items to Madame Nazar without money glitching, although there are collectible glitches to pick flowers repeatedly, we have the full collector role despite the possibility of any type of money glitch that can be exploited by a group of players. I say they figure out a way to add it soon, as judging by the community post today, players still really want it to be added, which means the more likely it is for more revenue through gold bar purchases for Rockstar Games and Take-Two Interactive. But with all of that said and out of the way, I think we will be wrapping up the video right here. Thank you so much for watching. What are your thoughts on taming and selling horses? And what do you think happened to the update that basically sounded like it was confirmed in the prologue to Red Dead Online? Do you think this would be a good feature to add to the game? I don't see why not. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and want to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. You're more than welcome to ask me any questions on there. You can follow me at Hazard. Hazardous HDTV and all of my social media links, including my Discord, can be found in the description down below. That being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.